Hey, Ellie. Yeah. How are you? Um, <laughs> same thing. Uh, I am good. How are you, Erna? Yes, I'm all good. All good. Nice and good. relaxed. So what are, what have we on the menu today? The menu? Oh, you're making me hungry. Uh, we have The Hollow Bone of Healing. And that is written by Phoenix Rising Star. That is her name. And um, that's the name she's given to herself. And it's a beginner's guide to self-healing. And in it, I found a very relaxing meditation that I shared with Erna. And I said, oh, we got to do this. And she said, yes, we do. So anyone that's listening, we're going to do the meditation. So first thing that we do, we're going to close our eyes. And turn your awareness to your heart. To, to your energetic heart space that is located behind your literal heart. This is the place that holds the sacred space of your heart, the tiny space of your heart that only you know. That space holds all of your records for being all of all your lifetimes, all of your goals, your aspirations, your lessons, your teachings. Everything is stored there, and not just for you, but for all life. So we hold gratitude for being aware of that and knowing how to access it. As I invite you to also begin generating feelings of unconditional love. We have some silence. Okay. And sometimes you might have a chant or a mantra that you say to get into the space like love, gratitude, hollow, hollow bone. You choose what you want to say. Or you may have your own mantra. Or maybe you have a memory of a beautiful experience, the two-legged or four-legged in which you just felt so much unconditional love. I know Erna has her four-legged one. Or possibly an experience of source energy, a straight, direct experience of source. Whatever way you define source, maybe you were out in nature and you just felt at one and at peace with all life everywhere. Now, now we're going to take a moment, another moment of silence. So whatever it is that will help you to embody more love, just allow yourself to be in that space and to allow all that love to begin filling up in your heart space, both your energetic and your physical space, filling up kind of like water fills up a container. As it pours in, it fills from the bottom to the top. And as that unconditional love continues to flow, flood in, what happens is that the unconditional love floods out of your heart space and begins filling up your physical form. Again, just like a container from the bottom to the top. So from the bottoms of your feet, filling up every cell in your body with this unconditional love and hiding no place from this love. Again, we're gonna have silence. And let it just fill up. Really feeling that and letting it fill all the way up to the top until it overflows into your physical energetic layer of energy field. Again, filling from the bottom to the top and hiding no place from this love. Each layer that gets filled, you just start feeling kind of like some padding is being added to you as this wonderful, loving material just being wrapped around you like cotton gauze. It's soft and it's warm and it's comforting. It's loving. Now we're gonna have silence again. And then it spills over into your emotional layer. And again, you're filling up from the bottom to the top. Adding just another layer of this wonderful, unconditional love wrapping all around you making you feel so comfortable and at peace and at one, loved and supported. Again, another moment of silence. Spilling over into your mental energetic layer, filling up from the bottom to the top, knowing that you are loved and supported and healing any belief systems that would be in the way of knowing this. Again, silence. Filling up until that spills over into your spiritual layer, which also encompasses your body. This is a very vast layer. It may take a little bit longer to fill up with unconditional love because it is so big. But again, hide no place from this love. When this layer is full, you'll find it a beautiful place to be. And it's perfect to just sit for a moment or two and just be there. Be this love. This is the beginning of the hollow bone of healing. There isn't anything you have to do. You're so deeply and profoundly connected in the unconditional love, that that's all that matters. Just feel that, know that, and be that. 
From this place, you may invite in the presence of that who is the highest and best for the session. You may see, sense, or know in some way, or just intend that you are connecting heart to heart, feeling that wave of love that is being sent to you. Really allow yourself to receive this and take this into every layer. When you complete, send it back and know that this love is being received. It's very important to your helper to feel your love. And as, you, as your helper takes it in, love is magnified about 10 times before your helper sends it right back to you. Now allow yourself to open your heart and really receive all of this gratefully with appreciation and with more love. And when you send it back, now it's being received. And have a moment of silence. One last time, this life is multiplying to the ninth degree and then being sent back to you. And you're feeling this wave of love between you that is almost human understanding. So just feel that and be that for a moment. Again, we're gonna break the silence. When you're ready, you can merge entirely with your helpers or energy using any of the methods that appeal to you. It's really easy to be together. And during this time, you may receive messages. You may receive some healing. Or you may just be in that energy. Open all your senses, step into the hollow bone of healing, and just allow whatever is your highest and best to happen. Seeing, sensing, feeling, I mean, whatever is best for you right now. And then another moment of silence. There's enough by merging with your helper to open the door to your hearts. Again, silence. With all your senses open, be aware of what you're seeing, sensing, feeling, and knowing. Upon your heart to the, open your heart to the unconditional love and your helper and allow your helper to share with you any hot spots within your time space continuum. You may feel them, see them, know them, hear them, or you may have a combination of your senses to heighten your awareness. Allow yourself to be aware of these hot spots and notice if you receive any messages around them from your helper. And we're going to take a long silence for you from that thing. If we receive any messages. When any messages are complete, your helper will simply share unconditional love with these hot spots until they dissipate completely, helping you to feel freer, lighter, younger, and more focused. Another long silence. And when, when that feels complete for now, your helper will disengage from the merge and you can bring yourself back into your body and back into your room and open your eyes. How does that feel? Oh, that feels wonderful. That feels, when I do this at this time <laughs> at night, I would so love to stay in that feeling and then fall asleep. Yes. Because it's yeah. so so soft and wonderful and welcoming. Yes, and that. Yes, and uh, just as to reflect, um, this is what some of the people said doing this uh, meditation. I was able to feel unconditional love. My spirit helper from the quantum field was... Um, you know, whatever you received, whatever message you received. And I became aware of the hot spots and uh, the messages about them included. And it goes on to a, another part. But um, yeah, we can do like the reflection um, like later as to like what we, what we saw, saw her, we can maybe put that down as feedback and um, then share it again another time. But um, I hope that everyone had a um, really good time doing this. And again, the book is called The Whole Hollow Bone of Healing by Phoenix Rising Star. And the meditation we did was called the Time Space Continuum Healing Meditation. So, yes. So, hopefully, everybody. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. Yes, and hopefully everybody is ready to go to bed now or taking a nap or just yes. walking by the pool. And then hopefully, I forgot to say, I hope you were driving when you were doing that. You know, driving and relaxing. Yeah. So, 
<laughs> it's no. never good to do a meditation while driving or doing anything else. Just no. have a seat, take a deep breath, and actually make sure that you're in a surrounding where you cannot be disturbed. Exactly. That yeah. also helps. And very much so. Yeah. Thank you, Marina. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. All, All right. right. Well, <laughs> see you at the fashion show. Bye. Bye.